Okay, now we're going to work on the move that everybody wants to know. Um, it's the crossover. It's the classic one while you're skipping. You cross your arms over, jump through, and then continue as you normally would. So, when you cross over here, what the motion is, just look at my arms. It's I'm skipping regular, and then my arm crosses over one another. Now, I like to put my right on top of my left, but it could be the other way. Whatever's comfortable for you. Now, you notice my hands have to cross so far. The common mistake is we only cross a little bit, and then we get caught up. You need to cross so far that my hands are wider than my body. My hands are essentially in the same position that I have with skipping regularly from. And when I cross, they're there, they're just reversed. They're crisscross, but they're wide. So now your body has a lot of rope to pass through. Common mistake, we just cross a bit and we get messed up. So I'm going to be skipping here, boom, 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 and then I'm going to go bing. It has to be a fast. If it's a slow cross, you're going to get caught. You've got to go from here to here. See how wide that is? Wide to crisscross wide. Open, and then you're going to be able to do multiple times, which is tougher. But right now, we're going to start off just one at a time, and I'm going to start to show you how to build on that. So, start off base, double feet, one foot, alternating the balls of the feet, heel toe. Okay, when you're doing this, let's get on the balls of the feet, and let's just alternate our steps. Now, I'm going to crisscross my hands. You first show you how to do it, then you show you the common mistake again. So, here, crisscross here, and then back through. You know how I, notice how I immediately come back through. I go here, and back through. Now what I like to do is when, I, when I'm uh, jumping over this motion, I want to make sure I'm on one foot. So it's very narrow, very skinny here, so I can get through. You can do it on two feet, just I find it a little bit tougher. So that's not two feet, I'm jumping on two feet, first cross. You can try that. Okay, but I can also just get up on one foot. So I'm going to go over here, a little out of the movement that I'll show you after. So first cross, back in. First cross. You can do two in a row, three in a row, and you get more, uh, pick up the speed, it's more challenge. Start working that crisscross motion, and uh, it always looks impressive, it's a lot of fun. But more, most importantly, is it gives your shoulders a much needed rest. When you're skipping long rounds, shoulders start to burn. This different motion allows the shoulders to kind of stretch relax and refresh.